Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. OS 10, dude, I do not laugh evilly. Well, I, I do, but only in my off hours. And I'm always online. You can email me, chris at perillo.com. Send your questions there. Uh, try to keep them short, sweet, to the point, as those are typically easier questions to answer, including this question from Mike Sutter, a community member at large, who asks, what is a 3D printer? What does it do, and how much do they cost? Uh, well, um, what you probably have in your home or office, or home office today, is a 2D printer. Uh, because a piece of paper has length and width, but what would be that third dimension? That would be height, and uh, that's what a 3D printer does, is it prints in three dimensions. Now you're thinking, well, how the heck does it pull that off? Uh, essentially, and again, the, the, this technology is not widely available, uh, and you're asking how much it costs, uh, I've, I've only heard about commercially available printers being somewhere in the $5,000 range, so it ain't cheap, although I did read a guy in Popular Science who's trying to create some kind of kit, a homebrew kit, where you could build your own 3D printer using common parts or commonly available products you know, off the shelf or from the internet and assemble your own 3D printer. So for years and years, uh, there's been software that has helped architects, that have helped designers, engineers. It's called CAD software. Uh, CAD is known by like a, a million different things. What is it? Uh, uh, it would be computer-aided design, computer-aided drafting, computer-assisted draft. It's, it's essentially a way that you can, uh, on a computer screen, a 2D screen, visualize something in 3D. So if you've ever played with Google's SketchUp, that's a, a 3D application that you can not just see a, a flat surface, but you can actually interact with 3D objects. So an object on the screen isn't just 2D. It's not flat like Super Mario Brothers. That's a 2D object uh, versus, let's say, a, a Halo character, which is 3D. To be able to take that 3D object out of the game, out of the, the rendering, and I'm not saying that's the way it's going to happen, but out of this 3D software world and into the real world, the 3D printer, or a 3D printer, uh, has been known to use like polymers, or essentially like a plastic, to print in layers. So have you ever seen, um, you know, medical shows where they will show cutaways of someone's, let's say, CAT scan or some kind of body scan, and they'll show it a layer at a time so they can analyze exactly where an anomaly or an object might be somewhere in the body? Um, that is essentially how the printer goes. It goes layer by layer by layer by layer by layer by layer by layer. And when it does that, it's creating length, width, and as it goes up or down, it's creating height as well. And the idea is you wouldn't be able to say, like, okay, I'm going to scan in my remote control into uh, or, or create this remote control in this 3D uh, universe in the uh, CAD software on my desktop and then print out a remote control. You would most likely print out the shape of the remote control, but it wouldn't be a functioning remote control. It's just a printer. It's it's just uh, copying an object or bringing it into real the, the real world. So where would it come in handy? Well, if you were an architect or a designer, or you wanted to bring some kind of shape to fruition, or let's say you designed a character in your CAD program, uh, and you you know, or in your 3D application like a Maya, uh, and you wanted to see what it looked like in real life. Well, you could take this 3D wireframe model or structured model with, with textures, and print it out at least in its rawest shape form. Uh, and actually see it and hold it in your hands. Uh, but as I said, this is a relatively new technology. I've never actually seen a printer, let alone any type of output from a printer. Now, Wireless Packet, you kind of work with printers on a regular basis. What do you know about 3D printing? How close is it? Um, it's pretty, from what I'm, I'm looking now, it's pretty realistic. It, it, it's, uh, I think for a couple of the low-end ones are around $5,000, and a couple of like the really super high-end ones go near 30000 And uh, what it does is it basically uses like a polymer, and it, it turns it into like a, like a molten polymer, I suppose, and it creates layer by layer and little peaks and valleys, and it creates like an illusion for the eye that, that when you're looking at, let's say, the remote control, you, you think it's like right there on the piece of paper, but... It's just a th it's in 3D and it looks pretty amazing. Some of the stuff they're doing uh, is absolutely amazing. Also, they're they're kind of uh, going in the avenue of uh, developing this technology basically for for biotechnology uh -huh. and uh, and you know medical schools just uh, to 
show medical students, you know, this is the heart, this is the lungs, this is the liver. It's it's just to show them what it looks like, and you know, just so they could see it um, on a piece of paper. Uh, I guess more 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 lifelike, I suppose. Well, it's, apart it's from absolutely yeah, I say apart from ripping apart a cadaver and looking at yeah. a, a dead heart. I mean, I, I suppose it's great for practice, and I, I'm sure it's going to continue to evolve. Where it's not just printing out this just basic shape, uh, but to be able to let's say you'd be able to print out a fully functioning uh, object of some kind, replication, true replication, and we're nowhere, we're nowhere near that. Of course, I say that now, and you know, next week I'm sure someone's going to come out on dig and say, "I made it, I did it." Um, so someone will, I'm sure they'll hack their uh, 3D printer to actually replicate some random object or I don't know they they're it, it's it's interesting technology uh, but I, I still think it's it's kind of out of the realm of, of most people I think the first uh, individuals to see it are going to be engineers medical students or you know the medical professionals uh, and then you know as I said uh, architects designers uh, people who deal with 3d realms on the desktop wanting to take that outside of the desktop and actually interact with things in front of them that's where the 3d printer comes in handy now if you've actually seen a 3d printer uh, or played with output and you've got experience with one that's more than I've got so email me if you have I'd love to share your story chris at perillo.com and as I said if you have any other questions or you know want to talk about some new technology that doesn't really get talked about all the time uh, I'd be interested in learning new things and if I happen to know about it I'd be happy to impart my knowledge uh, you're also welcome to join our community anytime um, it's kind of a community at will you can swing by uh, leave a comment of course in a, the blog post or the YouTube channel and then uh, you can come by the chat room. Uh, we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all the time, even if I'm not here, other people typically are. And that one place where you can find us chatting 24 hours a day is live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.